Hi, welcome to our fasting devotional. My name is Aubriana, and today we're going to be covering um, how prayer and fasting release breakthrough power in our lives. Um, and before we do that, I just want to kind of reiterate why prayer and fasting is so important in our lives and what the purpose is. Uh, prayer and fasting is not just about denying yourself food. It's much deeper than that. It's about closing every doorway that the enemy may have in your life. Um, and back in the day, you know, that wasn't very many doorways. But today we have so many doorways that can include social media, music that we shouldn't be listening to, movies, TV shows, some friends or relationships that aren't healthy in our lives. Um, it's about emptying ourselves of the world and putting our fleshly desires on the back burner so that we can focus on feeding our spirit and hearing the voice of God more clearly. And I was thinking when I was preparing this message uh, about Jesus and his disciples and, and the miracles that they seen and the passion that they had. And I was thinking, why, why don't we experience that today? I mean, we see it here and there, you know, but it's not like how it was back then. And then I, I was kind of, you know, asking God, like, what? why? And he was just showing me there's so many other things that we're filling our lives with. Um, like, like I just said, social media, all of these different things that we are filling our lives and our minds and our spirits with. And we spend so little time filling our lives with the things of God, with prayer, with fasting, with the things that matter. So it's no wonder we don't walk in the same power and authority that Christ and his disciples had. Uh, many of us are facing things that we've been facing for years and even generations, things that our mom, our dad, our grandparents faced. Um, and we are in a society with so much hurt, anger, pain, depression. But as believers, we are called to be different. We are called to cause breakthrough in the lives of the people around us. But if we can't walk in that power, how can we change anyone's life? So today we're talking about how prayer and fasting in combination will give us the power to break through the obstacles that we've been facing in our lives and in the lives of the people that God has placed around us. So let's define breakthrough power. The word breakthrough means an act or instance of moving through or beyond an obstacle. Power means strength, power, ability um, to act or produce an effect, legal or official authority, capacity or right. So what it's saying here is prayer and fasting release the strength, power, ability, authority to move beyond any obstacle in your life. So when we're fasting, when we're praying in combination, it releases the strength, the power, the ability, the authority to move beyond any obstacle that we may face in our lives and in, in the lives of the people around us. When we're talking about fasting, we're not talking about doing the bare minimum. We're not talking about trying to find loopholes or, you know, doing it just out of a thing we should do, you know, because our pastor said it. And for me, there's been so many times in my life that I've done fasting all wrong. Like I would focus so much on the act of fasting, focus so much on, okay, I can't eat this. I can't eat that. I have to fast until this certain time. And, oh, I messed up. And it's all about what I can and can't do. But in reality, like that's not the focus. The real focus is receiving something from God, um, getting something that we didn't have before, re receiving power to overcome the enemy. And it's funny because that same voice that will tell you, you need to eat, you're hungry, is the same voice that where our sinful desires come from. And so if we practice putting to death that voice in the little things and just eating food, for instance, we're more likely to put to death that voice in every other area of our life. So we're gonna jump into Luke 4, one through two. It says, Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left, left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and at the end of them he was very hungry. So we're going to dive into number one. It says, fasting empowers us to defeat the devil. And I want to focus on the part of the scripture that said, led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted. And I also want to read um, Luke chapter four, verse uh, 14, it says, Jesus then returned, this is at the, end of, at the end of the fast, it said, Jesus then returned to Galilee, filled with the Holy Spirit's power. Uh, reports of him spread quickly through the whole uh, region. So first he was tempted, and when he overcame the temptation, when he came back, he was filled with the Holy Spirit's power. So this is the purpose of fasting, so that we would be filled with the Holy Spirit's power. Um, during this fast, and it talks about 
that he was tempted. During this fast, we will be tempted. It's something that's going to happen. And this is an opportunity for us to overcome those things that we've been facing in our lives. Um, the Holy Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness knowing fully that he would be tempted, but also knowing that it was the only way Jesus would be empowered to defeat the devil and every battle that he would face. When he was done with this 40 days of fasting and temptation, he would come out with the power to defeat every sickness, every disease, every demon, sin, and even death itself. This is the kind of power that the spirit wants to give us. The power to say no to our fleshly desires so that we can say yes to God and move in his power and in his spirit. When we are fasting, we are denying our flesh and every door of entry to the enemy. The purpose of Satan tempting Jesus was to find a weakness and an open door to control, steal, kill, and destroy his ministry. And the enemy does the same exact thing to us today. He tries to strip us of the power and authority that Christ has given us. He tries to find um, a an, an doorway um, somewhere where he can get in our lives. The good thing about this, though, is that the Spirit did not lead Jesus into the wilderness to fail or just to be tempted and that he, he knew he would fall. No, he led him into the wilderness so that he could overcome and receive the Holy Spirit's power and walk in that power and the miracle breakthroughs that he was going to um, bring to the people around him. And, and it, it's the same thing for us today. Jesus wants us to overcome the temptation so that we can have that same power that Jesus had. That leads us to number two, fasting and prayer are real weapons for a real battle with the devil. Ephesians 6, 12, it says, our fight is not against people on earth. And let me read that again. Our fight is not against people here on earth, because I know some of us think it is. <laughs> and sometimes it's easy to think that, but it's not. It clearly says it right here. It says, we are fighting against rulers and authorities and powers of this world's darkness. We are fighting against the spiritual powers of evil in the heavenly places. And so some of us blame the circumstances that we're in or the obstacles that we're trying to overcome or the things that are happening in our lives on people. But in reality, we have to look at it for what it is. And what it really is, is there's spirits, there's um, spiritual darkness that is behind those things, behind those circumstances, behind those obstacles that we're facing. And this other scripture talks about um, Mark 9, 29. It says, he answered them and he's talking to, Jesus is talking to his disciples. They were trying to cast out a demon from somebody. They couldn't do it. So they're asking Jesus, what happened? Why couldn't we do this? So this is Jesus' answer. He said, this type of powerful spirit can only be cast out by fasting and prayer. So how do we fight a spiritual battle? With spiritual weapons. And what are our weapons? Fasting and prayer. And cast out means leaves, departs, come out, um, evicted. Some of us are fighting against some demons or demonic cycles that can only be broken through fasting and prayer. These are your weapons to defeat the enemy in your life. So let's evict the enemy from our thoughts, from our families, from our marriages at the beginning of the year so that we can succeed without any extra hindrances. Jesus received this next level of power and influence after he fasted. If we are going to impact and cause breakthrough in our families, in our neighborhoods, um, in the people around us, in our cities, we have to walk in that same power and authority that Jesus walked in. And he gives us a clear picture of how to receive that authority and power. So today I want you to, to take some time and examine your life. What are some obstacles that you've been facing? What are some things that you need to overcome? What are some maybe cycles that you've been going through for years? Um, and I want you to pray about those things this week. I want you to write them down. What is God speaking to you about them? And ask God for His supernatural power, strength, and ability to break through those things in your life and in the people that God has placed in your life around you. So stay encouraged and remember the Holy Spirit has empowered you to overcome every single obstacle in your way. We love you. We hope you have a great rest of your week. Thanks for watching.